Today, family members mourn the loss of a Lake County teenager. 15-year-old Jaquan Newbold was stabbed at the Palm Brook Apartments early Saturday morning in Leesburg. It hurts because it had to happen this way, and I wish it could have happened another way. I wish I could have, you know, was able to rescue him if I knew what was going on at the time. You can see a trail of blood that leads up to the entrance of this apartment complex where a young man has lost his life. Family members of the victim have started a memorial here of sorts for a life that they say is gone too soon. I wish, you know, it could have been avoided, all of this. And it's so sad that the good got to die young. There are a lot of unanswered questions as investigators continue talking to witnesses trying to piece together what happened. Local taxi driver Mary Bingham has worked in the area for years. All the time I've been coming out here, I've never seen nothing like this before. This is just ridiculous. Investigators say the attack was not random. They have interviewed a person of interest, but have not filed any charges. Newbold's father says he doesn't understand why. I'm just trying to gather all the pieces together because my mind frame now is not what it should be because I'm old country where I believe in eye for an eye. Newbold's family says he was a very outstanding kid, one who was kind-hearted, loved football, and would have began his freshman year of high school this fall. That's an innocent life gone for nothing. Probably over something that really shouldn't have happened. In Lake County, Tavares Jones, West 2 News.